what is going on minecraft java edition players today i'm going to show you guys how to set up shaders with minecraft java edition on your android phone using pojav launcher mobile glues so the very first thing we're going to do well we're going to create a fabric profile now we're going to be using fabric for this one and i will have a video out for forge as well so if you're going to be using forge make sure to check the playlist because i'll probably have a video for forge coming out right after this one so create a fabric profile, click on install for 1.21.5 and make sure that you have the mobile glues renderer selected as your default renderer. If you don't know how to get the mobile glues renderer, then you need to check out my very first video in this playlist about how to install the mobile glues version of Pojav Launcher. The next thing you're gonna do is click on your profile icon, click on 1.21.5, go to open game directory, click on Pojav Launcher and create a folder called My Mod Packs. As you see here, I have a folder that I created myself called My Mod Packs. Now that you created that folder, inside of that folder, create another folder called Shaders Fabric 1.21.5. You can name it whatever you want, but that's what I'm naming it because this is a tutorial on how to do this. Click back, back again. Now click on the pencil icon, scroll all the way down to where it says custom path, which is right here and select it. Now scroll all the way down again, click on my mod packs, click on shaders 1.21.5 and click on select this folder. Now click on your Java runtime, click on internal 21 and make sure that you pay attention to that part. Click on save. Now, make sure that you click on play before you continue to the next step, which is going to be downloading the necessary mods for this to work, which is going to include one of the custom mods that somebody has created for us called Podium. Thank you to that developer for letting us use that because this is required because we need to use Sodium to be able to use Iris so that we can use shaders on our device. Now click on quick game. Go over to your web browser, go to Modrinth, and now we're going to get the mods that we need. So the first thing we're going to need with our fabric is going to be the fabric API for the version that we selected. Now, if you didn't watch my video about sodium and how sodium is broken on some versions of Minecraft, go watch that now because it's recommended that you use Podium and you use certain JVM arguments for sodium to work. However, let's download the Fabric API for 1.21.5. Click on Download Anyways. Now go back to Discover Content, go to Mods, Download Sodium, Download Sodium for 1.21.5, and click on Fabric, and click Download. Click Download Anyways. Now go to Discover Content, go to Mods, and we're going to download Iris Shaders, and that is about it, and then we're gonna download Podium. So Fabric 1.21.5 and go back to Discover Content and download Podium. Now, I also have another video that is out that is for members only. If you want to watch an advanced guide about Sodium for members only, then become a member for as little as $3 a month. You can support the channel, become a member and see videos that are for members only that are more advanced guides like this. So go to Podium go to download, go to 1.21.5 and click download. And yeah, I'm gonna download it again because I already have it downloaded in my downloads folder. Now what I'm gonna do is close out of this and I'm gonna go over to Pojav Launcher. So navigate back to Pojav Launcher, go to open game directory, go to the three lines, go to your downloads folder on your device. So downloads, go to your three dots on the top right hand side, click on sort by, click on modified newest first, and grab those four mods that we just downloaded. Click on copy to, click on the three lines and go to Pojav Launcher. Scroll all the way down to my mod packs, shaders, go to the mods folder and copy. Now, I highly recommend you to listen to this part. Do not use that archiver. It doesn't work properly. Only use the open game directory option that I showed you right here. If you decided to do something else, didn't pay attention, that's not my fault. Now we're going to download some shaders because we didn't do that, right? Yeah, that's that's the whole point of this video. Let's go back to Google Chrome, go to Modrinth again, and go to the shader section where it says discover content. Now on the most part, most devices can play some BSL shaders. Now I'm not gonna say most devices, I'm gonna say most devices that are decent. That's all I'm gonna say about that because your device, if it's a potato, you're probably not gonna be able to play shaders very, very well. Now you're going to select Iris because we're using Iris for this and click download. 
Now go to discover content again and go back to shaders. And the next one that I think that can get away with using shaders is the, um, not the insanity shader, which one was it here? The makeup ultra fast one. Also miniature shader is pretty good too. Uh, I'm gonna actually just search for this one because I can't see it on the main page. Oh, there it is right there. Makeup ultra fast is really aiming to, you know, provide best quality and performance. And it just gives you enough shaders in my opinion. So select the version and click iris and download. Now, another thing that you could do to make it a little bit easier to find shaders that are compatible with the version is click on filter results. And you can change the results based off of like a low end device. So if you want a potato shader, low end or medium end device, stuff, stuff like that, you can do that um, for 1.2, 1.5 in our case. And for iris, I think you can select the actual iris loader as well. So click on the exit icon and then it'll show you what shaders could potentially work with lower end devices. I've never had the greatest luck with complimentary shaders, but let's download it anyways. Maybe we'll test it out while we're inside of Pojav Launcher. Now that we've downloaded all of those, close out of everything. Make sure that nothing else is running. Now I have a screen recorder app running in the background, so that might help with my performance being crappy, but it is what it is. Now go to open game directory and click on the three lines, go to your device name, go to downloads, go to the three dots, sort by modify newest first again, and grab those three shaders. Now, the thing about this is that you're gonna copy these. You're gonna go to your Pojav launcher folder, my mod packs, shaders fabric, and you're gonna notice there's no shader pack folder in here. So all you have to do is create a folder called shader packs. You can run the instance again if you want to, or just do this. Now copy that into the shader packs folder and then we can click on play and we should be able to actually set up our shader packs. And now we're inside of Minecraft and I'm using a controller right now guys. Now the very important thing here is to go to your video settings first and change your render distance all the way down to two. Change your shadows all the way down to disabled and your simulation distance, change that down to like eight for, for the time being. Change your VSync to off, change your frame rate to unlimited, and then you're gonna go and click on apply on the bottom right hand side. Now go to your shader packs, select the shader pack, click on shader pack settings, and now you can notice that we can change different performances based off of different profiles. So on this device, I'm gonna use the minimum setting, okay? This is gonna set it up to the minimum amount and basically click on apply. Click on done, go to shader packs again, and do that with all of your shader packs. Most shader packs have these default configurations for you so you can set them up. I'm gonna set this one up to potato. Now I'm gonna click on shader pack list, go to makeup ultra fast and do the same thing. Now this one's a weird one. So if you hit extreme, you can't go any further. So click on waving plants and then click on that again. And now this one has different options. This one has options to make it so that it has a shadowless low feature. It also has just like a shadowless or a low feature, which it has shadows and high and extreme. Now, obviously extreme is gonna be for like really good devices. I don't think any phones can probably handle that very well, but that's all up to your device. I'm gonna use shadowless low. Now, this device is already set up to be 50% resolution as well. And changing your resolution scaler does help quite a bit as well, but I highly recommend you to only do that when you're in the Pojav launcher menus. So let's go single player, let's select our world and create a new world and see how well the makeup ultra fast shader works. And here we go. So we are at two render distance, makeup ultra fast is loading pretty good and we're able to play. Yeah, like this is basically what to expect. Now, one big thing is that if you start increasing the render distance and stuff like that, then that's when your device is gonna slow down a bit and everything and you're gonna notice a whole bunch of different performance changes. Obviously you might wanna download some other mods and that's where my Sodium Advanced Guide comes into play because I share a whole bunch of mods that I think you should use with Sodium so that you can get more performance and the best out of your device. However, this is pretty good for two render distance on a phone. Now, obviously, Android gaming handhelds will make benefit of this as well. Those devices like the Odin 2, Retroid Pocket 5, Ambernic, RG557, all of those kind of devices will get a little bit better performance, especially the, with the fact that they all have 
um, active cooling, different performance modes and stuff like that. So if you have a really low end device, then don't expect all shaders to work. Now let's go check out the complimentary shader. Now, sometimes when you change shader packs while you're in the game, they crash the game, but this isn't always the case. And as you can see here, this device cannot handle the complimentary shader. And that's what I mean. Some shaders just don't work. So you'll have to try another one. So BSL shader is close enough to like the complimentary shader in my opinion. And you can change other settings. I actually like this to be the classic mode. I don't like real clouds. I like the square pixelated clouds. As you can see in the sky right there, those are like more square cl uh, clouds. I'm having a hiccup fit. But that's about it, guys, for shaders with fabric. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a nice day. Enjoy using shaders in 2025 with Pojav Mobile Glues. Yeah, if you made it this far, then you know that this is only for mobile glues. Bye-bye.